Devotions from the nations. This morning, before we go into a time of devotion, let's take this time to worship the Lord and to praise His name. And through this song, let there be a hope, encouragement that God will make a way for you. Thank you, Lord. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be my God Hold me closely to His side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way And God will make a way where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be my God Hold me closely to His side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way God will make a way for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful morning, even as we come and be in your presence. Lord, thank you for making a way. Thank you, Lord, for touching your children. Thank you, Lord, for miracles and blessings that you have installed for us this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Once again, I want to welcome each and every one of you as we come into this beautiful time to listen the Word of God, especially what the Lord is speaking to us in this time and season, not only to me, but to many servants of God that's bringing the devotions from nations. So thank you very much for tuning with us. I'm sure you will be blessed by today's devotion. The title of my devotion this morning, God will turn your valley of Baca to Baraka. God will turn your valley of Baca to Baraka. And we are going to meditate these two Hebrew words, Baca and Baraka, this morning. As you have the Bible with you, the Word of God with you, turn with me to Psalm 84, verse 6. Psalm 84, verse 6. It says, as they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a spring. The rain also cover it with blessing. Hallelujah. And the word of God says here, as they pass through the valley of Baca. Before we meditate the word Baca and Baraka, we must understand the meaning of valley here. The word valley here, it means low point. That, what's, that is the meaning of the valley here. The meaning of the valley means low point, a low point in our life. My dear brands, sisters, we all have to go through these valley moments. The moment of valley can be a lowest point in our life. There can be many tremendous success there can be many great experience. There can be many great heights that we have seen and we experienced in our life. But we all have gone through that valley moment. Even this morning, some of you can be in that valley moment. Some of you can be in that low point moment in your life. And even as I did some experience, there are five areas in our life that we will go through a lowest point. There are five areas in our life that we will go through a lowest point. What is the five? Number one, spiritually, even in our walk in Christ, there will be a time that there will be a lowest point. Spiritually, emotionally, you will be in a lowest point. 
physically you will go through a lowest point your mentally even that you will go through a lowest point and even in the relationship there will be a lowest point and as the, as we continue to meditate the word of god it says as we uh, pass through the valley of baka valley means a lower point that means in our life there will be a time that we have to go through a lower point. And the Word of God says, as they pass through the valley of Baca. What is the meaning of Baca? The meaning of Baca means tears and weeping. That means this valley is a valley of tears and a valley of weeping. My dear brothers and sisters, every servants of God, every children of God, we all have gone through the valley of tears and weeping. Even this morning, maybe some of you are in the valley of tears. Some of you are in the valley of weeping. Maybe you're going through a pain. You're going through a brokenness. You're going through a loss. You're going through a depression. You're going through a disappointment. You're going through a discouragement. You are going through the valley of suffering. The valley of Baca is a valley of weeping and a valley of tears, a valley of pain and brokenness. I'm sure it's a most difficult time. It can be a challenging time. All these months of the valley of pandemic, you have gone through in so many process and maybe in that process, you have been broken. In that process, you have been crying. You have been weeping. You have been in tears, not only because of pandemic, but because of the crisis and challenge and so many things that you're going through. My dear brothers and sisters, I have good news for you. The Word of God says here that in Psalm 84 verse 6, as they pass through the valley of Baca, can I loud hallelujah, the Word of God says that we are not going to be in the valley of Baca forever. We are passing through only. Can I loud amen, hallelujah. But I want to encourage you, my dear brothers and sisters, we as a servant of God and even as you are tuning with us this morning, we have to go through the valley of Baca. A valley of Baca means it's a valley of weeping, it's a valley of tears, it's a valley of disappointment, pain, and brokenness. But I want to uh, just to uh, point some very important things, especially when we are in the valley of Baca, we must be very careful that there is one noise that will come to bring a distraction. There is one noise that will come to stop what God is doing in your life. There will be five lies of Satan when we are the valley of Baca. You know, this is what the Lord just put in my heart, the Spirit of God just put in my heart to share to you five lies Satan will speak and bring into our mind at the valley of Baca. What are the five lies? lies? Number one, the first lie of the enemy is God is absent. When you're going through the most lowest point, when you're broken, when you are lonely, when you are discouraged, the first lie that the enemy will bring is God is absent. And the voice of the Satan will say, where is your God? Your God is not a true living God. Your God is a dead God. He is not alive. This is what the enemy wants to do. He wants to uh, speak and he wants to say, and he will say a lie that God is absent. Number two, the second lie of Satan is, there is no way out. As you are in this uh, problem and situation, as you are going through the crisis, the second line of the enemy, there's going to be no way out for you. As you are in this problem, the enemy wants you to accept uh, the faith that this is the outcome that is going to be and you are not able to come out from the problem or the crisis or the challenge in what you're going through. Number three, the third lie of Satan, he wants you to lose hope. He wants you to lose your hope and to, to speak to you and say, there is no hope in that situation. This is what is going to happen and, and you have to face it and there is no hope. Number four, he wants you to be a bitter person. 
in that process that you're going through in the valley of Baca. He wants you to be a bitter person. He wants you to be a person of unforgiveness. He wants you to be a person of anger. He wants you to live in that pain and depression. He wants you to be in that bitterness. Number five, He wants you to give up. He wants you to give up your faith. He wants you to give up your prayer. He wants you to give up your worship. He wants you to give up meditating the Word of God. He wants you to give up your good works. He wants you to give up seeking God. These are the five lies that the enemy will bring when we are in the Valley of Baca. That means the Valley of Baca, it is the most lowest point. And the meaning of Baca means it's a place of tears. It's a place, a place of weeping. It's a place of dryness. It's a pain, place of painful and brokenness. My dear brothers and sisters, I have gone through this process. All of us, before God brings us to the next level, before we see a mighty move of God, before we experience a great blessing, always remember when you are in this valley of Baka, when you are in this process that you're going through, God has something good. God has something extraordinary. God has something powerful. God has prepared great things that is coming on your way. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. I have good news for you. Psalm 84 verse 6 says, as they pass through the valley of Baca, hallelujah, you are not going to be in the valley of Baca forever as how the enemy Satan brings the lies, hallelujah. The word of God says we are just passing through, hallelujah, amen. And the word of God says we are passing through 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17 says, for our light affliction or burden or problem or situation Situation or crisis and all that you're going through even now, which is but for a moment only. Oh, hallelujah. Can I loud amen? What you're going through right now, hallelujah. It's just a moment only, hallelujah. Maybe you have gone through a valley of loss. Maybe you are in a valley of disappointment. You are in a valley of discouragement and broken. And as you're going through in this valley of Baca, I have good news for you. You're not going to be in this valley forever, hallelujah. Amen. You are going to cry cross over, hallelujah. And the word of God says, it's just a moment only. So hold on my brother, hold on my sister, hold on my pastor, hallelujah. You are going to cross over for what God has for you because I have good news for you. God will turn your valley of Baca into Baraka, hallelujah. So the valley of Baca means it's a valley of weeping, it's a valley of tears, it's a valley of brokenness, it's a valley of pain. Now let's this morning, uh, let's meditate on the word Baraka, hallelujah. Amen. God will turn my Baka into Baraka, hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 26. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 26. And it says, And on the fourth day, they assembled themselves in the valley of Baraka, for there they blessed the Lord. Therefore, the name of the place was called the Valley of Baraka until this day. Can I loud hallelujah? Amen. Now, what is the meaning of Baraka? The meaning of Baraka in Hebrew means blessings. Can I loud hallelujah? That means God will turn my Valley of Baraka into Baraka. Hallelujah. You may be in tears. You may be weeping. You may be going through a brokenness. You may be going through a loneliness, depression. Depression. You're going through problem. You are going through a loss. You're going through disappointment. You're going through sickness. They are going through a financial crisis. Maybe there's a situation in your home. There's a situation in your marriage. There's a situation concerning your children or even a situation in the church. I have good news for you. God is turning the valley of Baca into Baraka. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I just did a research on Baraka. The valley of Baraka is a wide and open place. Can I loud hallelujah? Maybe you have been to Israel. I have not been to Israel, but I just did a research on that. The valley of Baraka, the valley of Baraka is a wide and 
open place. Wow, can I loud hallelujah? Do you know what the Spirit of God is speaking to us? As you go through the valley of Baca, God is going to turn it to become a baraka for you. Means God's blessing will be wide and open for you. Hallelujah. All the pain, all the disappointment, all the tears, all the weeping that you have gone through, that same valley, hallelujah, God is going to turn it to become a blessing, hallelujah, amen. Oh, I love this verse, Psalm 126, verse 6, hallelujah. Psalm 126, verse 6, it says, Those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy. Can I loud amen? The valley of Baca can be a place of tears and weeping. I want you to know that tears and that weeping will not go in ways, will not go in vain. Hallelujah. Your tears, it's like a seed that you're sowing in the presence of God. Amen. If there is one place you want to cry, cry in the presence of God. It's one place that you need to be. You need to be in the presence of God because when you cry in His presence, your tears will not go in waste. Your tears will not go in vain. Your tears will be like a seed. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, hallelujah. Now it's a valley of Baraka. Your tears is turning to joy. Your weeping is turning into dancing. Your sorrow is turning into joy. And the Lord says, I am turning your valley of Baraka into Baraka this morning. Hallelujah. To every servants of God, to every brothers and sisters and children of God who are watching and tuning with us this morning through the devotion. I have good news for you. God will turn your valley of Baca into Baraka. Hallelujah. And so as I'm going to close this beautiful time in this morning, I want you to just lift up your hand and I'm going to pray right now that as you are going through the valley of Baca, I may not know, but the Spirit of God knows. My mighty Lord Jesus knows your situation and all that you're going through. Maybe it can be concerning your work. Maybe it can be concerning your business. Maybe it can be a concerning a need. And maybe it can be a time of brokenness. But I want to encourage you, hallelujah, this morning, where and the same situation that you're going through, God is going to touch. God is going to change. God is going to turn your valley of Baca into Baraka this morning. And so, receive this prophetic word, hallelujah. We can be in the valley of pandemic, hallelujah. But God is going to turn it to become a valley of blessing, hallelujah. And so, don't worry, both me and you and all of us who are listening, the word of God, I have a good news for you. It can be a time of pandemic, but I am in the valley of blessing. Hallelujah. May God bless you with a good health. May God bless you with a good strength. May God make a way because your valley of Baca has become a Baraka. May God bless you. May this word encourage you. May you move forward because this morning, God has given us assurance. I will turn your valley of Baca into Baraka. May God bless you. Shalom to all of you.